got recording. It's recording already? Yeah, well. Oh, nice. Some t-shirts, I need to give some t-shirts to some of those kids. <laughs> East Coast Radio Germans, number one live no. broadcast today uh, from McCarthy Nissan Gateway. Awesome new cars available as well as some great specials on the Cheetah if you're looking for one. But a surprise visit today and this is a big, big surprise because why don't you expect this gentleman to be all kind of tense and um, looking forward to the big game. Yet, Mr. Dickmere, you're looking so relaxed. You got, I mean, you got, you got one of the, I think this is probably the biggest game after the World Cup Finals. Absolutely, it's a massive game today and, uh, you know, the, our, our work as coaches unfortunately finishes on Thursday, so you've got to then just sit back and relax and, uh, and look forward to what's going to unfold. You know, it's in the players' hands. We've got a lot of confidence in our players. Uh, we've got a good leadership group there and uh, they'll be going out and making the right decisions on the field today. Wow. So. After Thursday, you can just go and relax, have dinner, and say, well, boy, it's all up to you all right now, until we hit the field. And then I see coaches, you're, you're, you're just going to a frenzy. I mean, when the guys are missing catches and dropping balls, you're like, yeah, you throw your hands up in the air. What goes on, on, on the sideline? There's nothing you can do to change the game, or is there stuff that you can do to change the game? Yeah, what, you, what you're doing all the time is you're communicating the game and you're calling the game, you know, uh, you, you're making tactical decisions uh, uh, as, as it unfolds, uh, but really, you know, we, we we've had a tendency to empower our players to to actually make more of those decisions on the field and, and just play whatever they see in front of them. Great. Now, now um, let's talk about the lines. Is there one player or a couple players in the lines that you really and truly know? If these players are playing, we really need to because. Um, leading up to the games, they played so many different. Uh, I mean, they played so many players. You guys want to show which team they're going to put out, and um, are there players that you said if these players play, damn it, we got a tough game. And if they're not playing well, it's our game. Are there any players like that from the Lions? Well, you know, they, they've got a lot of good combinations. In fact, it's a, a really well balanced side, so it's going to be a great test for everybody today. Um, we've done a lot of homework on the players. You know, it started way back. Uh, when the Super 14 was on, we were already having a look at them. In fact, at the end of last, on last year's end of the year tour, we started analysing some of the players. So there's a lot of homework that's gone into it, and uh, it's pretty much the side that we expected. Um, you know, last week when they selected their, their side to play uh, against the the side in PE, yeah, we realised then what the kings, what the, the kings. We realised mm -hmm. then what our what the starting lineup was going to look like. So, not too many surprises, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a well balanced side. So that while they were running around South Africa, uh, beating uh, our, our teams, you guys were doing your homework on them, eh? Yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And um, you know, when you're not involved in the Super 14 too much, you're watching your guys, and then you've also got time to to be able to analyse our position. Dig me in the studio with us, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, before you run off. Uh, the fans right now, everybody from all over the country is in Durban and they're all tuning to Durban's number one East Coast Radio. A message to the fans out there, I, I, you know, I was in Cape Town, I flew down uh, on Friday and I was in a plane with lots of British people. I was like scared, I arrived and it was like, like real. I didn't expect so many British people. So there are, there are lots of British guys that are coming to the game.